Welcome back to the number one YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, surprise, surprise, we're going to make another video about Oswelu and Kalani and his family that are the biggest mooches I think we've ever seen in the entire world. What can I say? Another Oscar-worthy opening number. And I think these people do remind me of crabs. You know, crabs live at the bottom of the sea. They're bottom feeders. They're constantly looking for the scraps. And that's what these people are like. Oswelu's family are constantly looking for the scraps. They just want handouts. They don't want to work hard or give money themselves. Yo! Oh, yo, what's up? Give me your money, bro. They actually want to be lazy bums and then make Oswello feel bad because they feel like they're entitled to his money before his kids and his family that he started because the vlog game's weak. Recently, there's been a clip of Kalani floating around the nine day fiance community where she's crying and she's like, I don't know how this is gonna work. How can this happen? I'll tell you how it happened, Kalani. You had unprotected sex with the dumbest dude in Samoa. We don't feel bad for you. It's stupid. Rub her up. Don't have sex with somebody you don't even know when you're like 31. You're a little old to be acting like this and be like, how did this happen to me? So a lot of things have been happening behind the scenes with Aswelu and Kalani, and I'm gonna get into those details later in the video. But first, let's take a look at that magical moment when Aswelu goes and visits his family and tries to make them change their beliefs that he needs to give them money or else they won't love him. And this is their response. I want to have ba 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 Aswelu's mother says this to him. I want him to carry on Samoan culture, even if he marry an American woman. That's not how she said it though. She said it like, I want him to marry an American woman. Aswella opens up the conversation in a roundabout way of saying, I don't want us to only be close because of money, and I don't want my wife to think we're only close because I'm giving you money. This family, if they have money, they still close and love each other. Kalani's family, Kalani's family, Kalani's family. What about your family? Wow, what a douchebag his sister is, huh? He just finished explaining that Kalani's family still loves each other regardless of money. And then you go on a tangent, Kalani's family, Kalani's family. What about your family? What about his family, dude? If you guys were my family, I wouldn't talk to any of you because you guys only talk to your brother when you need something from him, when you need money from him. And regardless of whether that's family or friends, it doesn't feel good to be used. And Oswello just gets used by his family members. And if this was me or anybody else that respects himself, they would cut off those talks with family members because they're only talking to you when they want something or if they need something such as money. We live here in America and we all need to find a way. Away, away! Sorry, sorry, that was really fucking annoying. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the video play. That was the last time I'll interrupt. Get your wet sock merch. The number one merch on YouTube. Is that spiked? Oh wait, that's your wet sock smoking at your wet sig. Wow, gotta love those colors. I bet that sweatshirt makes you smell like a winner. Oh my God, is that anime your wet sock with wet sock written in Japanese? Uh, yes, please, I'll take 12. Don't feel like you have to buy anything, but the merch link will be in my bio if you wanna check it out. I'm sorry. Or a job to be able to help our family no matter we, we have our own family here. I send them money no matter what. I know? understand. How long you been here? You've been here a long time ago. And Colt and Debbie thought Larissa was a gold digger. Could you imagine them talking to this family? It's funny now the sister's like, I send them money no matter what. Well, that's funny because when Kalani asked you about it, you said it was none of her business and got all defensive. So now that the cameras are back on you and you're in your home and you have that time to think about it, did you just lie? Like, is that just a lie? I think she's lying. Why the fuck you lying? I don't think she sends money or if she does, I don't think she sends as much money as the mom and the sisters are trying to milk out of Aswelu. I find it very inconsistent that right now she's says she sends money to her mom. Meanwhile, back when Kalani asked, she was very defensive. So this tells me that she's lying. Mm, oh my God. I just start my family. But we are not asking your wife Kalani's money, your money. So you can take care of your family, okay? Hey, dumb wrinkly old lady. It's his money and Kalani's money. They're married, they have kids together. It's their money together. It's not your money. You're not entitled to your son's money. It's nothing gonna change here. If Kalani tells Aswell to do this to that, Aswell will listen. Older women control 
Young man. I love the hypocrisy of her saying older woman controls young man. What do you think's happening in this room right now? You're all older than Oswelu and you're controlling him. That's the definition of what you just said. Don't try to pin it on Kalani controlling him. They have kids together. They have a family together. If anything, you're the old women in his life that are trying to control him. I also find it comical that his family is so full court press about asking him for money. It's like they think he's D.B. Cooper or something. He's got a bunch of treasure buried somewhere in fucking Iowa or something. Oswelu's worked at an ice cream shop and now these days he works at a Samoan culture center as a dancer. Like he's not making that much money, bro. He'll also make some passive income on Cameo, but it's really expensive to live in the US. So I don't understand where they think he has this buried treasure and he has all this money. He just started a family. He's been going in between jobs for the past couple of years. He doesn't have that much money to give you guys. And it's crazy that they know that to be a fact, but they're still so adamant about getting money from this kid. I'm assuming the segment was filmed around eight months ago, you know, before the coronavirus and everything, this whole pandemic. So even if that's the case, it was still really hard to get jobs back then in the US. It's very competitive in the United States and you can talk to any college graduate. It is hard to get jobs, especially stable jobs, good jobs with high salaries. And if you're living in a state like Utah, which is not the most expensive state, but still relatively expensive. I mean, the cost of living in America is expensive. And you have someone like Aswelu that's actually immigrated over to the US. He doesn't speak great English. His IQ is already low. He's already kind of a lazy guy. How is he going to find a stable job? Like, I don't understand. I think this family is just placing so much impossible expectations on this guy. And if you mix that in with the fact that Kalani doesn't work and she's the American one, she's the older one. So all the pressure's on Oswelu to find a job while in the meantime, they're living at Kalani's parents' house. Now, I'm not trying to say Oswelu isn't a bum. I think he is a lazy bum, but the cards are definitely stacked against this guy. And he's in unfamiliar territory, even if he's been here for a couple of years. You can't deny the fact that it's hard for immigrants to get jobs in America. Meanwhile, American citizens struggle to get jobs. So Asuelo's cunt sister, Tammy, goes on to say this. First, I was worried Asuelo gonna marry American girl. And we thought, oh, maybe she would be able to send money to a Samoa to help out with our family. But now I feel like she'd control Asuelo. So from the sister saying this, it's clear as day that Oswello's family are just a bunch of spongy leeches that want to just leech money from everybody and have no sense of pride and grit and honor and want to actually make money for themselves. No, they thought it was a good idea for Oswello to marry an American girl because the American girl could give money to them. Now we need money. Because when you marry within this family, the Mucci relatives ask you for money and then make you feel like a piece of shit if you don't give them money because it's the feudal age and you need to pay a dowry. But it's not a one-time dowry. It's like every month because the church needs money. I need a new canoe. And then when they're questioned where the money goes, oh, it was the church. I have to go and donate to the church. And you know, people can't work jobs here in Samoa. I don't know if you know how it is, but basically we have kids so we can pimp them out and then they can send us money and take care of us their entire lives. I don't know if you guys know about that, but you know, that's just how our culture works. That's the culture. No, it's not, bro. It's not the culture. It may be the culture within your family. That's not every single Samoan person. And I love when people are like, that's the culture in Samoa. Bitch, no the fuck it's not, okay? You can't look at this family and be like, oh, this family represents every single family in Samoa. Yeah, dude, generalizations are fun because I'm an American dude and I represent the opinions of every single American in the entire world. I am the best representation for every single American guy in America, dude. We love generalizations, ha. Huh. So the mom goes on to say, he's too young. He doesn't know what to do. You you guys are so manipulative of this guy. Like Kalani's not the old woman in his life that's manipulating him. It's you guys. You guys are the spongy, moochy, inconsiderate bums that are in this guy's life trying to manipulate him. Now, Kalani, the only thing I will say about Kalani, she's American. She's older. She can get jobs too. If they're living with Kalani's parents and the family's helping raise the kids and everything, I think Kalani can also work. I don't think she has to stay home with the kids. And it's not really helpful if Oswello's working part-time and Kalani's not they're never going to leave their parents' house. I feel like that's not a good way to like move forward. You can watch the kids and take care of the kids and also work. It's definitely possible. My money, it's Kalani's money. Kalani's money is my money. The reason you're here because she got pregnant. But if you 
it's not, maybe you're not even with her. Wow, the sister roasted him. She basically said, Oswello, you pull out games weak. If you didn't have kids with Kalani, maybe you're not even with Kalani. I also think it's kind of hypocritical because how many kids does the sister have there? Is it like three kids? If I was Oswello, I probably would have clapped back and be like, yo, maybe if you didn't have three kids with your dude, you guys wouldn't be together either. Oh! I feel like Oswello isn't really good at clapbacks. So I feel like this was the best strategy. He goes for an exit strategy. He goes to leave. And the problem with this is his mom and his sisters are like, you want to leave us? Why do you want to leave us? Oh, you're overreacting. Why do you want to leave us? Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe because you're being demeaning to him and his wife the entire time he's there. You're literally talking shit to his face about his wife being like, if you didn't knock her up, you guys would not be together. So as he's exiting, Aswello says to the camera, I think my mom has always had my back, but my sister hates Kalani. And that's not true, Aswello. Your mom doesn't have your back or doesn't have your best interest. You've just been manipulated your entire life. And I think it's sad that Aswello genuinely believes this because he would rather believe in this fantasy that his mom loves him as opposed to seeing it for the way it is and seeing the truth that your mom just uses you. And it sucks because you left that like Peter Pan syndrome and you want to live in Neverland and you want to pretend like your mom loves you. But I think at some point in his life, he needs to come to terms with the fact that his mother and his whole family uses him. So as well, it goes on to say, I just leave the house and I go back to see my wife. I love my family. I love my wife and I think I can't have both. So a lot of people have been vocal that they're proud of Oswello here in this situation. He's not as vocal with his family, but he does stand up for his wife through his actions by removing himself from the situation. And he says to the camera, I love my wife, I love my family, but I don't think I can have both. So he's already playing through scenarios where he's gonna have to choose. And he's already thinking, okay, I'm gonna side with my wife. At least that's what I'm gathering from the situation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Right now, let's look at that unforgettable moment when Kalani actually actually confronts Oswello's mother and sister and they hash things out in person face to face. I'm here to tell you guys, I just don't know why you all feel entitled to me and my family's money and that however you feel, feel that way. But at the end of the day, it is gonna be what I say. Whoa, Kalani's coming in there strong, but in response to this, Oswello's mom replies, but Kalani, for my children, the money they send to me, that's their own duty. Oh, it's your kid's duty to send you money. That's funny because I've never even heard of that in my life life. Instead of taking care of their own family and the family they've started, it's their duty. They must send you money. What happens if they don't send you money? Do they perish? Does God fucking smite them? No, I'm not saying Is that what happens? No, it's a choice to send you money or not, you disgusting old hag. And what Kalani's telling you is, they don't have to send you money because Oswello's money and her money, they share the money because they're married and they have to raise children together. Oswello's sister even chimes in and says, Kalani, you know what it's like. Your dad's from Samoa. We're poor in Samoa. You have to send money back home. What you want to do with the money you earn is your choice. You don't have a duty to send money to your parents or your family because they're too lazy to actually work and get jobs and make money for themselves. You can spend your money on something better, like the Master Chief Collection for $20. I actually just bought it myself. I can't wait to play the campaigns from Halo 2 and Halo 3 later, man. I'm gonna relive my childhood. It's gonna be lit. So Kalani has a very level-headed response here. She says she understands Samoan culture, but she feels like this is being taken to the extreme, something that I think we all can agree with. And Oswello's mom replies to this by saying, just give me money. That's all I want. Dude, we know it's all you want, but you know what would be funny? If they did didn't give you any money so you could get GG. What money is he supposed to give you? Because if he's giving all of this money that he doesn't have, then he's gonna be poor. He's not gonna be poor. You guys live with your parents. They can support and help you. Either you're married or you're single. You support your mom and dad till we die. I think the thing that bothers most people is that they want to use the Samoan culture as a crutch to be moochy pieces of shit and demand money and make it so clear that they don't care about the love from Aswelu, they don't give a shit about his kids, about his family. They just wanna use him for money. And I feel like you can't use culture as a crutch there. You can't say on behalf of all the Samoan culture, every Samoan family acts like this. I highly doubt every Samoan family acts like this. I've had a lot of comments from Samoan people and American Samoan people that this is bullshit and this family are a bunch of moochie losers. So I highly doubt it's the entire Samoan culture that acts like this and only treats their kids like their only purpose in life is to make money for their parents. I think most people with a brain will agree with me that this family 
family gives Samoan families a bad name. It's the same thing with Yazan and his family. They give Islam a really bad name. But it's not all of Islam that's bad. It's Yazan and his toxic family members that are bad people that belong to a faith. You know what I mean? You can't write off an entire culture, an entire religion because of one toxic family. Asfala's mom and sister are such hypocrites too because they just said, Kalani, you live with your parents. They can support you. Well, you guys live with your parents. They can support and help you. I thought the whole point was you're supposed to support your parents in Samoan culture and Kalani's dad is Samoan. So going based off the logic you're saying, they should be supporting Kalani's parents if they're going to support you and Oswello's parents. But wait, that's inconvenient for you guys because you guys want money so much that you're like being hypocrites and you're like, oh, we'll take all the money from you and then Kalani's parents can support you guys. Whoa, that goes against the culture you're preaching. You guys are full of shit. You're fucking losers. Whoa, dude. The narrative. We're Samoan, we're poor. Hey guys, nice winter gear. Nice leather jacket. What is that uh, puffer jacket as well as mom's got on? Is that North Face? I knew some motherfuckers with sweaters, but I was two tank tops in the winter, okay? What is that? How poor are you guys? I want to know because I feel like the narrative is kind of bullshit. So that's how the way we race, but... I feel like Alani trying to change uh, Asuelu from uh, the Samoan culture and telling him you not be able to help our parents. Or you, you can work to, so you can be able, both of you, to help our family back home. So you want me to get a job and be away from my baby so that I can pay for people in a different country? Oh, roasted! Yeah, you didn't think that one through, did you? Yeah, I'm gonna get a job to send money to a bunch of moochie cunts that I've never met and I don't care about. Yeah. GG, that's the best way to live your life. We were raised to live this way. This is our culture. Yeah, what a stupid fucking culture if that's your family's culture to send money to a bunch of moochie cunts that don't really love you and aren't appreciative of the money. Let's work our whole lives and be slaves and send money off to other people so that they can enjoy the money and give it to the church. That's the dumbest fucking bullshit I've ever heard in my life. I will say this though, Kalani, you can get a job. You are old, you're like 31. I feel like you should probably get a job if Oswello isn't bringing home the bread. If you ever wanna gain financial independence and move out on your own with Oswello and you guys cannot, you know, live basically off of your parents, I feel like that's a better way to do it. Sacrifice a little sleep, work hard, you can watch the kids and get a job. I'll agree with the sister on that point, but for the point that she should send the money to you guys, you're out of your mind. You should never send it to Oswello's moochy ass family, ever. I work full time. I take my kids to their activities. I take them to school. I pick them up. I take them to their games, their dance, this and that. Do you get it? Or you just don't want to be, you don't want to work. You're lazy, right? So Oswello's sister goes on a little rant, contradicts herself and says some bullshit. And then Kalani says, so I'm lazy because I don't want to work hard and give you guys money. Which I thought was a great response on Kalani's part. She's not about the bullshit that the mom and the sister are spewing right now. Kalani drops the bombshell that when she spoke with Oswello, he agreed that when he came to America, he had to be responsible for his family and for his kids and the family that he's starting with Kalani because his pull out game's weak and he has to take responsibility for his children, which is something I think most of us can agree with. Oswello's sister has a huge problem with this though and says, you didn't ask my family for permission to do this. You didn't talk to my family about that situation, girl. You got pregnant from my brother. Did yeah. we tell you to go get pregnant? No. How dumb is this girl? Did we tell you to go get pregnant? No, no. What happened was your brother had unprotected sex with this girl and then came in her and then he had to take responsibility for his actions. That's what's happened. And Kalani doesn't need to ask your family's permission. That's a conversation between two people that had sex and had kids together. Oswello's family's really rolling up with this energy. Like they're the chief of all Samoans and you know, they're chief moochie moochie. And they want to actually blame everything and all their toxic behavior on the Samoan culture. That's hilarious man that is your own part because you want to marry as well you want as well to be your husband and you just you just do it that way behind our back like it took two of us it wasn't just me we both got pregnant. i know but you knew it you knew what's gonna situation would be at the end of it these people are such hypocrites. They're blaming Kalani for getting pregnant with Aswell. It's just as much Aswell's fault as it is Kalani for having unprotected sex and not taking the precautions to not get pregnant. I mean, even if you have all the protection in the world, there's still an off chance that you get pregnant anyway. But these people didn't take any precautions. So yeah, you can diss them and be like, you guys should have been more careful. But to blame it on Kalani when Aswellu really has everything to gain by getting this girl pregnant, and you guys were totally cool with it because you were like, oh, well, we can take money from 
Kalani's family. You guys even said that the sister Tammy, the cunt sister, actually said that in an earlier part of the video that she was cool with it because she thought they could take all the money from Kalani and her family. Now that you guys can't sponge any money off Kalani and her family, you want to say that Kalani trapped your brother? I don't know why someone would purposely get pregnant with the dumbest person in Samoa and he's lazy and not hardworking and he brings nothing to the table. Really? That's who you want to get pregnant with? Not some like rich guy or somebody that is a really good looking guy or anything like that. Like I understand some people in the world trap people like that, but if you think for a second that Oswello's this amazing stallion of a man that in girls are just waiting on the corners to just like impregnate me Oswello. Give me some of those loser babies with low IQs. You're half Samoan and half Caucasian. Your dad's from Samoa. You should have that blood in you. You, you don't have feel that, that way. And that blood is in me is to tell people to like shove it when I feel like it. You have that Samoan blood in you, don't you? Dude, Asuelo's mom and sister are so stupid and their arguments are so dumb that like I have to somehow lower my IQ to try and understand what they're saying. So the Samoan blood, like what does that have to do with the argument, dude? You have the Samoan blood in you. You should be cool with uh, giving us money your entire life. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Clanny. I don't care about the kids. I want to take back my son to Samoa oh, to do please. his duty as before. <laughs> there it is. She admits that she doesn't care about the kids. She wants to take back her son to be her slave in Samoa. That is hilarious. I can't believe that this person is a mother. That's so disgusting to me. I'm not a mother. I'll never be a mother. And I'm fucking a million times the mother this lady's ever gonna be in her life. What a low piece of shit this woman is, huh? Maybe you guys need to get divorced or separate. And then the sister actually says to Kalani that she needs to get a divorce or separate from her brother. Wow, man, you know, I thought this was a relationship between Kalani and Oswelu, but it turns out that his family told Kalani that they need to get divorced. So they're the deciding factor. You know, it's the feudal Samoan system and they're in charge of the relationship and the kids' duties are to just give money to the family until they die. So Kalani says, you want Oswelu to leave me and abandon his kids? This is crazy. Yeah, sis, I agree. This whole thing is bananas. The mom goes on to say, I want to take my son back. Kalani just sits, do nothing. She wants to have him as a husband. Meanwhile, Oswelu does everything. I just find it unbelievable that they're making Oswelu Swallow to sound like this provider and like he's Bill Gates and he does everything. Dude, he plays volleyball with his homies. Like he doesn't do anything. What are you talking about, bro? He's, they're making Osweiler sound like he's Bill Gates and he's this breadwinner and he's just not. And it's hilarious to me that the mom just admitted that she doesn't give a shit about her grandkids and she just wants Osweiler to come back and make money to take care of her. That's the most selfish person I've ever seen in my life life. You brainwash Oswello. You're too old for him. You control him. All I've done is love Oswello. That's why and I don't like you. Just fine. Don't like you, I don't Kalani. care what anyone else don't... thinks of me. Yeah, it's weird. It's like Kalani hasn't been manipulating him, but you guys have manipulated him his entire life and you guys are also old and manipulating him because he's young. I find it kind of baffling. It's been this many episodes of them being on camera and they still haven't changed their belief system. They've actually moved over to America. The mom and the sister are living in America and they're so moochy pieces of shit that just want to manipulate Oswelu. I find that crazy when they've actually seen how hard it is to live in America and all the expenses. I feel like most families, most mothers would be happy that their son started a family and is maturing and trying to take care of his family. I can say without a doubt this is the worst mother I've ever seen in my life. She reminds me of the mother from that Disney movie Tangled except for maybe even worse. He had nothing when we met and I loved him so I, I, I apologize for loving Oswelu and having it have nothing to do with money. I really am so sorry. Why are you crying, Kalani? Because of the way you brainwash and control as well? Honestly, if I'm Kalani right now, I'm sending the most vicious right cross to Tammy's face. And then I'm just picking up Oswello's mom and throwing her over the bridge and dumping her in the water. I'm just kidding, guys. Violence is never the answer. But sometimes people need to catch a fade. I think Kalani needs to walk away from the situation, which is exactly what she ends up doing. Because these people are never going to change their belief system. They're always going to be moochy, selfish pieces of trash, actual human garbage. 
And the best thing you can do is just cut them out of your life. Wow, I just referenced violence, and what do you know? Asuelu's sister actually chases after Talani and tries to beat her up, and then the mother holds her back. But hey, it's not uncommon when people are losing in an intellectual argument to resort to violence, especially someone with a low IQ like Tammy. Yeah, I was joking about the assault bit, but Tammy obviously wasn't. She actually tried to assault Kalani. Luckily, the mother was there, the Moochie mom, to hold her back. So I know be really messed up, and this is strictly hypothetical, but how crazy would it be if Kalani's dad, Lo, just went berserk and beat up every single member of Osweiler's family? Just throwing that out there. I'm being sarcastic. Violence is never the answer. I have to throw out disclaimers because people are really sensitive these days. Your mom said that she does not care about the babies and that she wants you to go back to Samoa and work there and pay for their stuff since you don't give them enough. Whoa, so now they step from like uh, level one to level 17. Okay, so from here you can tell that Oswello plays a lot of video games. You know, he's talking uh, based off levels. They step from level one to level 70. It feels like every time Kalani talks to him, she's talking to a toddler, but at the same time, I am gonna give him credit because it seems like he's on the same wavelength as Kalani right now, and they're just kind of vibing, talking about the situation, and they're manner and he seems like he agrees with what she's saying that his family's really toxic so I'm gonna give him a pass but from the way they're speaking it's like her talking to a seven-year-old I'm surprised that my mom wants me to come back to Samoa and uh, I'm surprised that what they say to Kalani I'm wondering if Kalani it's kind of misunderstanding to my mom and my sister no dude he's not misunderstanding to your mom and your sister your mom and your sister have manipulated you your entire life they're selfish they only care about their own well-being they don't give a shit about you they don't give a shit about your kids they don't give a shit about your wife Boom, how to say it, because you know, we just gotta keep reminding them. No, Oswelu, they're users. We have to keep reminding, you know, he forgets. But I mean, at the same time, he's been manipulated his entire life. So I kinda wanna give him a pass, but I kinda don't because he's 24. I feel like he's old enough to think rationally. But I don't know, I'm torn. Let me know what you guys think. Kalani says, you don't need to have a relationship with these people. And then Oswelu says, why? And then Kalani says, because they're assholes. And he says, baby, don't call my family assholes. I feel like every clip with Oswelu, we make progress and we'll go two steps forward. And then we go five steps back. Like, is he not understanding? I'm starting to think there's something off about him mentally because he just never seems like he can read a mood. Your sister that's like four feet tall tried to fight with me. If she would have grabbed me, I would have knocked her out. So you think that if my sister will touch her, you can knock her out? Oh, do I think that or is that what I would do? Mm -hmm. Oh, I would do that. What about if my sister knock you out? Okay, here Oswella reminds me of Lenny from that book of Mice and Men. In what world are you not like, oh my god, I'm horrified that my sister tried to fight you, honey, you would beat her up, to going to that seventh grade mentality of like, I bet my dad would beat up your dad. I think my sister would be able to take you, Kalani. Why are you making the argument who would win in a fight, your baby mama or your sister? I think you should make the argument, wow, that's fucked up that my sister tried to assault you. I just feel like his mentality is that of a nine-year-old, and I think that this dude's never gonna change and I can't even believe that she was irresponsible enough to have two kids with this guy. It's crazy. I've beaten up people bigger than your sister in the third grade, so no. If you tried to do that, my sister will not knock out. Okay, so now we're debating who would win in a fight. I don't think you'd understand. I would beat you up in a fight, so. Me? Yeah, I would. No. Sorry. Sorry, Kalani. I think this is a great moment that all people from all walks of life can come together and count our blessings that this is not our life partner. I, I think you're missing the point. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. I'm At this point, I think Kalani and Oswello should break up. I don't think he has a big enough sack to confront his parents, mano y mano, and confront his sister and tell them that his duties are towards his new family that he started. He doesn't know them anything, and his purpose in life isn't to make money for them. He's not man enough to do that. He's not man enough to take responsibility responsibility for his own weak pullout game and take care of his family financially, emotionally. I think he's a weak human. I don't know what the big fuss is about. I think she should divorce Oswelu and find a hardworking single dude in Utah. There's a lot of them roaming around. So yeah, man, good luck. Happy hunting. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Comment below, subscribe. Let's be friends. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now.